Yeah. It's kind of like, maybe WinRAR would get like, you know, whenever you use WinRAR, it always <laughs> pops up saying, buy this. If it was actually on there and you realized it was paid software, but even just giving a dollar would be good for the yeah. developers. Because I've used WinRAR for like seven years and I haven't bought the damn thing. No. I mean, I... You use 7-zip, man. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer WinRAR. <laughs> Why? 7-zip's free and open source and yeah. better. WinRAR works. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so hey, it's what I use first. It's what I use first. But no, I, I think this it, this could work really well. I would like to see a website that actually pioneered this, that everything on the website was free, but you should donate it, and that goes to the developers. Like, yeah. even getting a few cents for your work is better than nothing at all. I think especially making it all transparent like that. Mm. I think that could be the psychological trigger that actually... Yeah. People are like, oh, okay, I can actually say where the money goes specifically, and I can see yeah. where it's going, and I can see how much people have given, and... It's kind of cool. All that stuff, yeah. Uh, they tried it with the music, didn't they? they uh, the, the free music site. I totally forget what that was. I'll have to find out, but um, there was something about it. Ever done that? Yeah, no, there was something that there was um, music for free, and you could just donate directly to the artists. Okay, that'd be pretty cool. Don't remember it. It was a, it was an experiment a while back, but was it one of the Russian sites? Like, like uh... no, it wasn't all of MP3 or anything like that. Okay, it was weird. I don't know, but uh, yeah, definitely something to watch. That the free model, actually, by yeah. taking off, but by div uh, donating money. I think it's a good idea. I, th I think this could take off. And they, well, like I said, they've nearly made $700,000 off this, so it's definitely something to watch. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Um, yeah, I have to talk about Facebook. <laughs> How could you? Facebook. I found this... I use it's Facebook. Yeah, everyone. That's, that's <laughs> the problem. You can't go, you can't get away from it. It's, it's awesome. Um, I went through my privacy settings lately. You should, you guys should fucking do this. Like, Go into, just go into your top right, go to account, go to privacy settings, go through it and just read what you're actually sharing because there's shit in there that I was like, fuck, I don't want to share it with <laughs> all these people. Like what? Well, particularly all the apps. When they when they brought in that open, open graph thing, the default was share everything. Okay. So and everything, everything I've ever done is shared. That's pretty sad. Pretty much. Like pro I'd probably say like a, a good 80% of it is shared. And there's a lot you wouldn't want to share actually. Um... Well, I was particularly uh, kind of like setting up for businessy type stuff. Like, I want to add people to it, to yeah. my business, like, but I don't want them to see me, you know, dressed as women and stuff and dressed as Hitler and all these other crazy party photos that I've had throughout the years. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I've gone through and blocked all them so they can't see any of that, so that's nice. But um, <laughs> while I was doing this, what this cool thing I came across is uh, Facebook's doing this thing called Instant Personalization Pilot Program. And they're only running it with three websites at the moment. They're working with uh, Microsoft uh, Docs.com, uh, Pandora.com, which is like a music personalization thing, which is really cool, and Yelp, which is like a review site. Right. And so they're trying to basically, uh, they're doing the recommendation thing that we've been talking about for ages. They're, it's actually starting, what we've been talking about. They're, they're customizing the sites. They're customizing the sites. Not as much as they could and nowhere near as, anywhere near as, as what they should be doing. It's but it's, it's starting. You go to Yelp.com and it says, hey, you're this person. We're actually customizing the site for you. And integrating all the friends stuff. Like the docs thing was pretty cool because you could actually, anytime you create a new doc and you share it, you could actually share it with your friends on that site and you could see their activity and all this sort of stuff. <laughs> so it's, it's really kind of getting there. Like what we've been saying for a while now is that uh, I think Facebook big enough now to be the routes for the web for social data. So that you go to any website anywhere on the net outside of Facebook It'll know who you are based on your Facebook pro uh, profile. It'll pull up your data. It'll then customize the site with different content and different recommendations from your friends, just on the fly for you. Holy crap! So the web becomes <laughs> the web becomes dynamic, and this is what I love. And I'd, I'd love that this is what's happening already. It actually it changes the whole site based on how you use it and how you do anything. Yeah. we've talked about it. we've we have said we've gloated and gloated and gloated about this before, but it's actually it's actually it. happening. I need to check out this. I haven't done that before. Yeah. It's not cool. Like I, I tried to find like well, what are they actually doing? But what are they doing? Okay, you go to you go to docs.com. It's got like you know friends docs, docs and it's got their little um you know like box on the side. It's like oh, okay, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. You go to Yelp. It just says a thing at the top like yeah, hey, it says you're your Yelp. oh well that's why I just went to right then. It's got friends activity. I should have signed in and um actually checked out some stuff, but mm -hmm. but they okay, are doing so I can off. see what friends have used actually what uh, stores yeah. they've done and what they actually like. Oh, that's a nice picture of a burger. Well, the first thing there. <laughs> Really like a burger right now. Damn. Four thousand reviews. Mm. That's just restaurants. But yeah, what they should have done, even if I wasn't actually logged into Yelp, it, and if they know that this is me, they should have at least customized the front page for, say, Wollongong. Yeah. Like, where we live. Like. Well, that's it. I mean, I've got San Francisco, California. Yeah. Mm. Don't care. Yeah. A little bit away. 
literally the other side of the earth, but anyway. Yeah, anyway, that, that's just a quick thing. I just I think I, that's cool. I, I hadn't that heard of it before I came across, and I was like, wow, they're actually it's doing the, the recommendation very engine. Very beginning. And three years from now, if this if this takes off, you know, the web will be will be dynamic. Yeah. You know, every website will be different to each of us, and it'll be <laughs> interesting. I like it. And cool. Started with three. It's going to expand into a million. A billion. A trillion. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, the next one that I want to talk about, oh, this is cool, okay, we're getting back to Google, so, you know, happier place. I, I like, I like Google, I'm a big fan of Google. Anyway, they, they've just recently bought this company called BombTop. Uh, they do, um, touch screen interfaces, well, not the actual screen, they do the, the UI behind them, and, um, silly phone. Anyway, it's, a uh, this 3D environment, like, name. sorry? It's, a, it's an interesting name. Bomb top, yeah. Well, it, they've got this cool movie. Uh, I'll, I'll chuck it up there. I'll put the link there for you guys. But it's um, it's really cool. It's uh, it, it shows all the different ways you can do it, all like using hand gestures and stuff, showing like new ways to just interact and go with it. And I, I yeah. think it's pretty cool. Like the video shows a lot of stuff. Admittedly, most of the comments about this and all the discussions yeah, I've seen about shit, it eh? has been hectic. My God, everyone hates it. It's like, why the fuck would you ever want this? This is gay. This is stupid. Oh, I'd never do that. No, no. But it's like. No, it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> I like it. It looks pretty cool. I haven't used it because my computer, I, I don't think, would be powerful enough to use it. Like, yeah. one of the guys there actually lit, did a pretty much a big essay describing his use of it. And it sounded pretty cool. But uh, I think this is the beginning of, well, Minority Report. You know, the actual full-on... Yeah. <laughs> changing stuff around. Yeah, it was, and it's all multi-fingers. It was okay, but yeah, the, what's the practical use of it, though? Mm, it's, it's the same way. Like, actually... Well, using stuff like like oh, I don't think you use it on a on a laptop. Maybe on a on a tablet. Mm. Maybe on like a you know Microsoft Surface.